Today we're playing Halo MCC in 2022. I finally got to check out some of the new Halo 2 anniversary skins they just added to the game. Plus we found out they will not be adding microtransactions to the Master Chief Collection. If you have not been paying attention to the world of Halo, so much has happened in the last few weeks from changes with the leadership. And one of those like immediate announcements that we saw really quickly is that the Master Chief Collection is not gonna be adding microtransactions after all. And I'm pretty excited about that. I mean, it does sound like there's some great changes happening with Spartan points and ways that you can accumulate points moving forward. But yeah, it's looking like MCC is gonna stay pretty darn classic. So sit back, relax, enjoy the gameplay, have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you again very soon. Woo, super lucky on that. So I've been trying to get into a Halo 2 anniversary match quite a while. Pretty excited we did. I figured it was a good day for some chill Halo. Why not, right? I want uh, to try out the Modern Warfare 2 beta, but that thing is $70. Like, you have to pre-order the game in order to get early access for, like, the open beta thing. Also, you can't really... How is it an open beta if you have to, like, pre-order the game? I don't know. Not to sound too, like, old man crotchety, but, like, life is so expensive, there's no way I'm spending 70 bucks to pre-order a digital good, you know? I've never been a big fan of pre-orders, like, in general. Especially for, like, a digital project product. If it was something that, like, had a limited run or something like that that's physical, okay, then I understand it. Like, if there's manufacturing involved, but when you're dealing with the digital good, like, why? Why would you do that, you know? Also, check out the new Battle Rifle skin. Halo 2 Anniversary on this latest update got itself some really cool skins. That was all I had, really. My man. Bear Paws Malone, that's kind of a cool name. Oh, did it? we trade? We traded! That was a very spongy little trade right there. If any of you are playing the new Modern Warfare 2 beta, you let me know how it is. How is it on PC? I liked MW 2019 quite a bit. Oh, dang it, man. Nice job. Really liked MW 2019. I'll probably end up buying MW 2. But again, like, I don't know if it's principal or what, but I'm just not super psyched on a $70 pre-order. So I won't belabor the point. Dude, I can't get over how good this skin looks. Look at it. Like rainbow style, it's great. Hello. Boom, oh man, that nade was right at his feet. <laughs> that would have been amazing. Who remembers good old 5v5 social halo? I would go for a 5v5 playlist again, that'd be nice. Okay, so they're up in the tower. I wonder if I can sneak over. Yeah, I can. Boom, let's go, Dragoon. Oh, I'm getting shot by two people. I would have won that fight if it was just like the 1v2 there, I think. Good old 5v5 Halo 3. Come on. It doesn't get any better than that, man. Here comes the nades. Boom. Here comes the nades. Ready or not. Did they go low? Oh, he did. He's active camo with the rocket launcher. Well played, bro. That was sneaky. That was the big brain play right there. Got it right before the regen, and then get hammered. <laughs> oh my word, dude. Oh no, our split screeners are dropping the ball. At least they're probably having fun though, right? Oops, sorry, man. Oh, what an aid, what an aid. <laughs> the big brain plays, yo. Out and about, let's go, man. Where's those rocks? Did we get them? We got them. I love Orbital so much. Well, I don't love it, but it honestly just reminds me of the good old map pack days, right? Oh, sorry. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have looked away. I'm sorry. I knew everybody's going to come that way. So here we go. All the nades, all the nades, all the nades. Last long enough. Oh, there we go. And the nade play worked out. So if you have not been paying attention, the world of Halo has had a lot happening the last few weeks. Bonnie Ross has a family, meter, a family member with a, a medical... Thing. So she had to step down from 343, which is very sad, like in terms of the, the family member thing. I wish him all the best. Hope there's healing. And if you've ever had a family member go through something, man, uh, like long term care or hospital stuff, it sucks. Super sucks. So I just wish the best on that front. The folks that they've put in charge, uh, Pierre Heinz, Longbomb, maybe. Okay. 
Dang it. But maybe 117 up there can do it. 117. Oh, I didn't get around to it at the right time. What a need, bro. What a need. Pierre Heinz. I think that's how it said. Um, he was really heavily involved with the fixing of the Master Chief collection. And now he's in charge. And I see that as a really a good thing. Honestly, it feels like with Infinite, there's just so many limitations, it seems like, with how quickly they can produce and deploy content that something had to change. There was no way things could continue the way it was because uh, players can't be getting, like, four maps a year and expect it to be, like, a competitive live service style game. You know, you've got to you gotta be putting out quite a bit more. Granted, the level of competition for live service games has gone up quite a bit, but they weren't even hitting, like, what bare minimum would be for a game that came out a few years ago, you know? So I'm I'm overall excited. I think it's still going to take time. Like, all of these shifts, we're probably not going to feel the effects, I'm going to bet, for about a year, maybe more. I'm, I'm thinking Season 3 is probably where the shift is going to occur. Right on the edge of that regen. That's pretty smart, honestly. I might just chill until the, the regen gets through. This is why Orbital is fun, though, is this, like, little L-shaped corner. Got it, coach. I think they're going to still spawn, like, right over there. Yeah, they did. Okay, so... I'm going to go for an extremely long play. Yes! The long one didn't hit, but the one on the right did, so that was worth it. It does seem like Forge is going to be able to probably carry the game quite a bit. If they're able to get maps into matchmaking, like if they're like the UI doesn't let us put things into the the mix, then it's gonna be like whoa 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 that's that's not gonna work. But I'm ready to play some forge maps. I'm sure like the first thing people are gonna forge is gonna be like Narrows and Guardian and uh, Warlock and yeah. What would be the first classic Halo map you would want to see added back? In Halo Infinite Forge. I want... Oh, there's Sprint. So that's hard. I'm trying to think which ones would play the best with Sprint. Oh, what an aid! Let's go! Oh, nice. Nice shots. That's Those are the, the gunfights that I wish I was on controller still for. Because you don't really, like, you sort of feel the direction it's moving. Pull back here because I'd rather not lose the last two snipe shots. All right, this might be an unpopular answer. I think Haven from Halo 4 could actually work really well in Halo Infinite. That's not a classic map. I know. I get it. Oh, dude, why? Wow. Okay, that was a crazy little moment. Okay, so Haven. I think Haven could work really well. I also think Guardian could be pretty fun if the things are a little bit bigger. Narrows would be great. Pit would be great. There's a lot of easy choices. So let me know down in the comments below what would be your pick for the very first infinite, like, classic map you want to play on. Remake. Classic map remake. Because it's probably going to need some changes. You know, if you think about it, Pit, Pit worked pretty well uh, in Halo 4. Ooh, nice little double kill. Oh, hi. I didn't expect you there, dude. That scared me. Maybe Zanzibar and Beaver Creek? Like, those could be really good. Gosh, that was really close. Beaver Creek might be too small, but, like, I think Zanzibar could be pretty cool. Nice. Oh! <laughs> I needed to be Neo to stop the uh, the bullets there from flying. Got him. Oh my gosh, Halo 2 Classic. Always is going to feel so good, man. With that, I just want to say uh, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please like it. And I hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Have a great weekend as well. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so many BRBs right there, or BXBs. And we'll see you next time. Thank you.